Hey everybody, Roja360 here. So I know I've shared that this last year I went through a relapse and a major depression. And um, I had to get my, I lost like all sense of organization and I just stopped caring. I like didn't have a schedule. And anyway, I totally fell off the track. So I am back. I'm going to talk about um, what I did to get myself started and get my routine back in another video. But I wanted to show you what my morning routine for self-love and self-care looks like, because a lot of people are asking me what diet I'm on. I'm not on a diet. I just take really good care of myself. Everybody's body is different, though. So it's just like face creams or, you know, medicine, anything. Your body is its own individual, unique biosystem. So your physiology and chemis chemical makeup may not work with what works for me. So over 41 years of taking care of myself. This is what I found works the best for me that makes me feel the most amazing. And you're going to want to couple this with enough sleep, meditation, um, sleep meditation and, um, like manage your stress. So, um, it's really hard to do, but once you get in a routine, it's, it's not that hard. So I try to make sure I'm very hydrated. Um, I drink at least, so no alcohol when I'm behaving, no alcohol whatsoever. Um, try to drink at least a gallon of water a day, but you wanna couple that with vitamins. So some of my favorites are, um, let me see, show you my cupboard. Okay, so I have this raspberry um, vitamin C. I drink at least one of these a day, and it's got all the vitamin C you need, and then a bunch of D vitamins, B vitamins. It's got a bunch of them. Um, I also take every morning, um, a multivitamin, a whole food vitamin. I don't endorse any specific products, but I mean, I have done a lot of research on it. You, in my opinion, you want to get one that's made from whole foods. You want to eat it when you take whole foods. I am not a doctor or a phys anything really. I'm just a person who's read a bunch of crap on the internet. So if this doesn't work for you, you don't need to comment with a million comments about how this is stupid and you don't like it. Like it works for me and I feel amazing. And when I get my body, my machine like up and running, like I'll be down to probably 19 or 20 percent body fat. And a lot of you are going to be like, wow, she's like, just wait. So I do that in combination. Let me find it over here. Oh, here they are. So I like these vitamin waters. So mix the... um. I mix the vitamin C packets with the vitamin water and I try to do that at least once a day and that gives me like a um, oomph boost. Okay, so then I try to for breakfast every morning eat a good source of protein, a good source of fat, and some kind of fiber. If I don't get much fiber, like I'll usually like get some spinach leaves and throw some balsamic on it with some cherry tomatoes or grill up some cauliflower. Um, Sometimes I just have a protein bar with a banana, um, but I, I have to eat every morning because I'm a medication. But when I am running low on fiber, oh, Metamucil, it's so disgusting, right? I just take the teaspoon, I put a little bit of water and I like slam it like a shot because it's gross, but it keeps you full for a long, long time and it helps you poop if you're um, having problems with that. Obviously, most of you know, I am a coffee-aholic. I've got a coffee pot and an espresso machine. So I drink that all day long, pretty much. Um, but one thing I do like to do every morning is I mix collagen in with my coffee. It makes your skin nice, your hair nice. Um, like I notice night and day difference when I'm taking care of myself in my mood, in how I feel, everything. And I believe that um, being fit and being happy comes with a combination of spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being, and it does take a long time in a process. So if you're feeling like crap, you got to find a routine that works for you and stick with it. That's going to be the main thing. So in the morning, I like to drink the Starbucks Nitro, and I mix it cold. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I need fat. I put MTC oil with the collagen. Sometimes I'll have fresh brewed coffee. Um, I like to use an app that scans my calories so I can keep really good track because that's how I lose weight. I eat nutrient-dense foods, and for me, everybody's different. I don't do keto. I gain weight on keto. I keep track of my calories. It's like in and out like a checkbook. I'm a business person, and I know how to balance 
books and things make sense. So right now I have a surplus of calories. I need to go into a deficit every day. That combined with trying to slowly lose fat and um, put on muscle. Now I have a lot of muscle, so I am not doing heavy weightlifting right now because I have a lot of muscle. And so I'm doing a lot, lot, lot of repetitions so that my weightlifting is almost cardiovascular. No, it is. I'm raising my heart rate at some of the weights I'm lifting to like 155. And then um, toning really good with just burning off the fat. So I like to be dripping, dripping, dripping buckets of sweat and then um, doing tons and tons and tons of reps. And then I like to sit and let my heart cruise at about 110 to 125 for a good hour or so. Put a show on, put a podcast on, put an audiobook on. But um, for me, if you've got the same body type as me, um, the only way that I get rid of that weight is by um, counting my calories. And like I use a phone app. I got my Samsung Galaxy Watch, which these things are the bomb. They are the bomb. They sync up to my phone and help me keep track of my calories. I used to have the Fitbit, but it I don't want to smash the Fitbit if you love the Fitbit, but um, it doesn't work as well for me because it doesn't have all the other features the Samsung phone has. It's like a much smarter phone. So if I get really in a pinch and I don't have time to eat, which that happens, um, I love this stuff, the Raw Fit Organic Meal. It's only got one gram of sugar, 28 grams of protein, and then I throw in some super daily greens. I'll probably put a banana, throw it in the Vitamix, and that's like breakfast on the go. Um, <clears throat> so I do all that. Oh, vitamin D is very important. I take three of these every day because if you are low on vitamin D, um, you get depressed. So you can go to your doctor and ask for like some vitamin tests or some deficiency tests. There's this really cool um, new company I heard about. I don't remember the name, but I heard about it when I was in my depression. So I'll have to find it. But they're actually like doing lab results and blood results for like 200 bucks. And so when you're losing weight, you like actually get um, real time measurements of what your body is physiologically doing. So I'm going to look into that soon because right now I'm just guessing based on research I've done and stuff I know. Um, I think I covered everything I do for the morning except, um, and I'm not embarrassed about this. If you need help, you need help. Um, I take... Uh, pharmaceutical drugs that both help me with depression and grief and then help me um, with cravings. So I take Effexor, 300 milligrams a day. It stimulates my prefrontal cortex. Note on this medication, I'll do a vlog on it. If you don't take it, uh, you are a crazy person the next day and for several days. If you take it and drink alcohol, you are loopy like... Um, Think of like PMS on steroids. So if you are going to take a Fexor, you need to have a routine. You need to eat every day on time. You need to be like, I would not recommend it to someone who has not got their shit together because as much as it helps, it like makes you kooky if it doesn't, if you're not doing it right. And then Wellbutrin. I know um, I take 300 milligrams of Wellbutrin every morning. Many of you know what that is from like a smoking cessation drug. It also helps with alcohol cravings. Um, it releases quite a bit of dopamine, so it just makes you feel happy. So that's my morning routine. And then at nighttime, I drink Calm, which is a magnesium supplement. Um, it's not sedative. It just helps you feel calm. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but... That's like the best I can say. And then um, my doctor gave me some, what is it, hydrocortis? I don't know. He said it's the sister to Benadryl, and that helps me sleep if I need it, if I'm still all amped up. So I try to eat mostly protein, vegetables, and then I supplement with these things. Um, another couple of my favorites are like raw beetroot. Um, raw beetroot, it just feels so And I'll show you kind of the kind of crap I keep in my fridge. Well, some of it's for my kids. Okay, so I love seltzer water. I don't drink regular water. Um, people have said to me, is that going <laughs> to be good for you? Are you? I don't know. I do all the time. I love these shakes, the Keo protein shakes. So I keep all this stuff in case I'm like in a hurry and I don't have time. Super coffee is the bomb. It's got like 200 grams of caffeine, um, MTC oil, so it'll fill you up, 10 grams of protein, and only 80 calories, so if I'm in a hurry, that works really well. What else do I have in here? 
Oh, I like I love the suja waters. So this one is purified water, lemon, ginger, and pineapple. Um, only two grams of sugar. This company is awesome. They are out of San Diego, and they just have really good whole natural ingredients. This whole thing is only uh, 20 calories, and it's just amazing. So those are like some of my favorites that I do. I use almond milk a lot because um, if I make an iced coffee, I like to use one cup of almond milk which is 60 calories or no half a cup of almond milk 60 calories and then i'll put half a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream so i keep the sugar down i keep the carb count down and then like the whole coffee comes out to 50 calories because i can't drink it just plain i mean it's kind of gross and i think that's about it um as far as my favorites for keeping stuff i also like the um the Tarani sugar-free syrups, those are really good in your coffee. And, um, oh, this is awesome, too, for calming. Rubis tea. This is my favorite Rubis tea. So none of these things are things somebody asked me to talk about. This is just stuff I use all the time. Um, like I said, when I was going through a depression this summer, I wasn't doing these kinds of things. And I noticed a huge, huge difference in when I started having a routine exercising every day and doing those things i know that might be less important um for some but you know after having and this is especially for people who suffer with grief you got to keep take care of yourself because grief and depression will sneak up on you and i used to be a lot stronger than i was before and i'm slowly learning to build myself back up actually i think i'm um actually learning how I'm going to be stronger than I was before, but it took me getting broken down and having to fall flat on my face and then rebuild myself up. So I say that as a word of encouragement, especially to my grieving mothers, it takes time and you go up, you go down. And, um, the people that are there for you, um, a lot of them fall away cause they just can't handle it. But stay strong and there are people out there that care and um that if you want help will give you help and i really appreciate all the help i've done take your time working with your medication for your psychiatrist it took me four years to get my medication to where i feel like great every day and i still dip about five six o'clock in the afternoon so i got to talk to my doctor about that but it's um copious amounts better than it was um like this summer, I just kind of, I did nothing. I was just, it, it was bad. So I encourage everyone, if you're um, feeling depressed um, and you're not eating and you're not taking care of yourself and you're not exercising and you're self-isolating, that is going to exacerbate your depression like you would not believe. I had no idea what I was doing to myself. I thought I was being kind to myself by laying in bed and eating ice cream and taking naps and going easy on myself, but that just in the end caused a total um, emotional collapse. And so sometimes that's okay. Sometimes you have to fall down to get back up and be even stronger. Um, I hope these tips helped you, especially with like the vitamins and stuff. I don't recommend any of these specific products, but you should figure out what your body needs Play with it like chemistry and you will notice if you start to feel the difference. I hope everyone's well. This has gone on for quite a bit of time. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below or if you have something you want me to talk about. Um, and I hope everyone um, has a great day. Roja360 at gmail.com. Take care, everybody. Bye.